weather system tracking um, program uh, with the event data that we collect through RIDIS. Uh, and what we have, uh, we selected a weather station, uh, one at uh, I-83 and 695, which you can't see there on the left. Um, and we have a map of, this is that weather station, and these are a couple of events that happened uh, nearby. I've got a little time slider here on the top, and I'm plotting different things that the uh, weather sensors are, are actually taking in. So this is the air temperature, uh, the amount of rainfall, and the visibility score uh, that the temperature renders. And I can uh, manipulate the slider here to see more data. And I can see the different events that happened uh, over time nearby uh, the sensor, and I can you know, zoom in and find uh, things that might be interesting. Uh, so here's one. This is a disabled vehicle uh, event that was recorded. Uh, and you'll notice that uh, right before it happened, there's this huge spike in, in the precipitation rate. Uh, and that is coupled with a uh, sharp drop in temperature and a drop in visibility. So what that actually was, that was a thunderstorm going on. And it seemed like this vehicle may have been uh, you know, stopped on the side of the road as a result of that. And then choose other variables uh, from this list here uh, that we want to apply. So I think these three make for, for good enough general purposes. You can scroll through and uh, see all sorts of different things. Here's the uh, you know, collision, incident of some sort, construction events. Uh, so I don't know if this is all that wacky. Um, what do you guys think of that? Do you have any thoughts? It just seems like you could do it with beta mining and have it go through and say algorithmically, you have an event, here's what's happening, is there any correlation between them? Sure. And going backwards as opposed to looking and see what might be happening at the same time. Yeah. Um, the the counter argument I would pose is um, you have to develop that, that algorithm to do the, the data mining or the visualization would allow you to see it on the screen. Um, if your data happens to be dirty for one particular variable for your weather sensor, your, your data mining algorithm. Well, like the, the counter counter argument is money is time, oh. and you're you're taking an analyst to use this while you know you can go through and get all your events, and then check those events as opposed to looking at everything. I can see your point. So it's cute though. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm going to yield to. So John here, he's going to show some of the stuff that he's developed um, while working with the Human Computer Interaction Lab. Thank you, Michael. Uh, so this is the part uh, 
that I guess is going to be the wackiest part, or at least the most boring one. So I hope everybody gets their hats and gowns on the entrance, because this is going to be dangerous. Please don't get any further in the box for the weapon of the nature. So continuing with uh, what Michael was